Hey Libra, welcome to your Law of Attraction reading. Um, I did do a wealth reading recently, and it was it tended to be focused on money and you know wealth, prosperity. Um, so when I went to do this Law of Attraction, I've been working with these cards, and I realized that they're very focused on wealth and prosperity. I obviously didn't notice that right here. <laughs> that's what the focus is. However, I feel like the principles are pretty simple. And so I feel like you might find it very easy to apply to other areas of your life. So I'm not saying disregard the um, reference to money in the readings, but that is kind of the focus of these particular Oracle cards that I'm using. Also, I am in a hotel. So the lighting is a little weird. I have this round table that's quite small. Um, I'm trying to work with, work with it here. Just uh, work with me, okay? I apologize if the views are not quite right. If you can't read the cards, I'll do my best to point out everything. All right, so Spirit, what do we have for Libra? And we get practice. So it shows somebody like playing an instrument or something and yeah, kind of surrounding themselves with art. And so we get practice. What does practice say? It says, every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. See, this is what I'm saying about the financial aspect. So it's okay. You know, whatever you're trying to manifest, you know, if you're trying to manifest um, something that is not financial, just apply it however it fits for you. Okay. So, Spirit, why is practice here for, for Libra? I almost said Sagittarius. I keep doing that. Sagittarius has been really on my mind. All right. So, Spirit, why is practice here for Libra? And we get the Seven of Cups. Okay. What is the challenge for Libra? We get the Ten of Cups. Lots of water in this reading. What's the advice for Libra? And we get the King of Swords. And the outcome. The Two of Swords. Okay, let's see what we got here. What's the story for Libra? All right, so Seven of Cups in regard to practice. So your current energy is, could be one of looking at things more in fantasy and rather than reality. So I think that you may be you have dreams, you have things that you want to wish into existence, you have the intention, but you're not being, you're, you're struggling with the, seeing the reality in that, right? Like you are not necessarily seeing this 10 of cups as a reality. You're seeing this as, yeah, that's, you know, that's just a fantasy. That's something that I could never have, right? So that is your challenge. Like you want this, but you are struggling with how to get that. And I think what practice is saying, every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. That is living as if, right? That is making it reality. That is professing that it's already into 
existence in a sense, living as if, okay? So for the King of Swords as the advice, the King of Swords is just so sure and everything is based on reality. But he's very um, focused. He is... His thoughts are clear and concise. Like he is... He, he comes up with a plan. He goes after what he wants. Um, the King of Swords, if we're talking about money, is super smart with his money. I mean, he's not tight with his money, but it's like just everything that he does spend money on, it, it's been thought about. It has made sense. You know, you pay... You get what you pay for. He's very, he's not going to be cheap about things. So I feel like even if this is talking about some other, you know, aspect that you're hoping for, I feel like it's about saying, focusing your energy and saying everything I do is, is, in, is steps toward this emotional fulfillment. So with the outcome being the two of swords, this particular illustration of it doesn't seem very helpful. But the Two of Swords can also represent about bringing in your heart to your decisions and not just making them mental because your mental, your, your ego can disrupt that, that decision process. That, um, you know, when you're at the crossroads, what makes the most sense? Oh, but what if this happens? What if that happens? And the Two of Swords really can talk about peace because it's bringing your heart into it. What do I really want? And, you know, also, you know, aligning that with your thoughts. You know, what do I really want? Now let my mind understand that as reality, okay? So that's what I'm getting here. Let's get some clarification. Spirit, why is the King of Swords here as advice for Libra? Oh, lost cards. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Okay, so we get two cards here. We get the Eight of Autumn and the Six of Autumn. This is both um, the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is really about mastering, about um, recognizing, you know, your craftsmanship in a sense. Um, like recognizing your own journey and how far you've come that you've put in a lot of hard work and it's paying off it's like you're seeing that you know you stand out from the rest right the six of pentacles is talking about that give and take that um that flow of you know not like giving back in a sense if you are you know blessed with with money say then that's also about you know, paying it forward and giving it, being generous with your money. And that keeps this cycle going. You work hard for it, but it's also about um, not holding tight to it. So having those two cards um, really clarify the King of Swords. You know, the King of Swords is someone that really recognizes those cycles and things. And he's going to be cognizant of timing, whether that's timing things based on, you know, astrology or timing things based on, you know, the stock market, whatever it is, he's going to see those, um, see very clearly those uh, cycles that affect his manifestations. And when he goes after something and says, this is the right time. This is the right time in the cycle. Just him going 
being so intent and truly believing that he's that his decision is the best decision that's what's going to come back to him even if it not is not necessarily the right time it's it's all about perception right okay so that's definitely something we're seeing with this two this two of swords it's all about perception it's about changing your perception bringing your heart into the matter and finding that peace to move forward so how does that relate to practice how does the two of swords relate to practice and the law of attraction for libra and we get justice and that is you that's standing in your power trusting in yourself but that's balance you know it says take the time to review the details carefully you will win in the end fair and objective decisions well who decides what's fair your heart and mind balancing the two okay i still am not picking up this message spirit why is practice here let's let's clarify that Okay, so we're talking about practice, practice. That means, okay, and we get the fool. And it says the dreamer. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. Okay, so maybe you need to practice trusting yourself. Yes, trusting your intuition. You know, not allowing your thoughts to run away with you. Balancing balancing that but not you know not getting into this fantasy world where you're not thinking realistically but at the same point not thinking that your goals are unreachable that that you, you know nobody wins at love or nobody you know actually has this this is not a real and realistic goal it is, it is. You can have true fulfillment. You can have harmony. You can find that partner that you can share that with. There are still good people out there. You know, I think that that is something that can be easily can take root very easily in your mind. Allow your heart to lead you. You can have this. All right, that is the message that came through there. Let's get a Making Magic uh, card to close this out. Spirit, what guidance do we have for Libra? And we get Dragonfly. You bring light to this world. You do, Libra. You bring light to the world. Where there's dark, you bring light. Where there's where there's light, you balance it with shadow. There is a true sense of recognizing reality here. Being realistic, but also recognizing that you can. These things are realistic. They are real life. All right, let's get one more of those. What guidance? What more? What other guidance spirit do we have for Libra? Self-confidence. Strong self-belief and a sense of worth. And one of the other signs got worthiness. So that is a big part of the law of attraction. There's certain things that you'll have to recognize that you're worth. That you deserve and that you can have but then practice as if keep moving forward practice as if okay i hope that the message resonates with you i hope that i was able to put it into words it was a little um a little hard to come through but i get it i think we all get it now Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.